Hey, it's Clyde Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol VGID. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've done this analysis a couple days ago. So that's where these red and green lines are coming from and certainly want to get things updated. Now, there is perspective that goes into this chart. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within, you know, 17.45 seconds, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. But if you care about the big picture of things, you know, the grand scheme of everything, then the bulls are still in full control. I get it that there is a pullback, but that's just, again, Shorter term time frame. taking a step back, looking at the past multiple days, the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base and therefore continue on with the longer term uptrend that they're currently constructing. So let's get some things updated here. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning, get rid of this green line down here. Reason I'm doing that is because the purple line has now crossed above it. And I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last video or not. If not, I'm gonna mention it here. But from the big picture of things, Again, if you are a day trader, then you could care less about the purple line. But from the big picture, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls are in full control, no questions asked. So if you're wondering for, hey Clay, look, just give me a very simplistic, a very black and white way to measure the health of the move, this being the move, then again, as long as the price is above that purple line, bulls are in full control. And like I said, because that purple line is now crossed above the green line from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna have a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion. Um, and so I wanna to try to keep this as clean as possible. One of the newest updates comes from a foundational principle in charting, and that states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support, and we've actually already had that take place this afternoon. So like I said, 0035 was an area of resistance last video I did, but when the price broke above it, that's when you would wanna see it act as support. And the back test happened right here, and you can see uh, held like a, like a charm. So a great example here that you could throw right into a textbook of a re former resistance now acting as support. Now the other area of resistance was temporarily broken, but because the price closed below it, still gotta be considered an area of resistance. And that's this red line here at 0046. Good news is, is the price barely closed below it. So it's not like the price has to travel a great distance in order to do battle with it. Uh, you know, that battle could come relatively early on Monday morning. If the price can push up above 0046, the next key level of resistance up here at the 0058 mark. So all in all, good solid day. Sure, there was a pullback, but again, that all boils back to what was your perspective? What was your strategy going in? And from the big picture perspective, bulls can still build upon that long-term uptrend. So we'll see if they can continue to do that or not next week. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.